Okay, Cook, so I have a special surprise for you. We came to this store four years ago, and recently they moved, they expanded, and this store is amazing. We are at the Lodge Cast Iron Outlet Store in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Come on, let's go in, see what we can find. We're at the Lodge Cast Iron Store in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Let's go. So do you know where I can find some cast iron? <laughs> the whole store, wow. This store is amazing. It's huge. Wow, look at this. That is amazing. Their whole cash register is filled with cast iron. Okay. And that's really cool. That's a really cool design. That's an amazing design on that cash register. Hmm. Let's go see what they have. Wow, so they have some really great sales in here. So if you are in the Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area, if you're riding by on the freeway, if you're here because this is like tourist land, stop by the Lodge Cast Iron Store in Pigeon Forge. It is amazing. The people that work here are amazing. And look at that. <laughs> this here is like a cook's paradise, right? So let's see what they have. Large 5.5 quart Dutch ovens. Look at this. They're having a 50% off sale on the 6.5 quarts. Well, I'm already spying this one right here with the color on it. That's a green color. <laughs> one of those might be coming home with me, boo. Hmm. <laughs> oh. So they have a la uh, enamel cast iron grill pan. That's amazing. Pretty. I mean, this is like some, it's got non-stick. Otherwise, I'd say throw it in the grill, but that's what they're kind of showing. You can throw this stuff in the grill. Oh, this is all um, carbon steel. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, look okay. at the carbon steel pan. So you can not so you can throw this in the grill then? Yeah. Nice. That's serious. I had no idea Lodge had a carbon steel collection, but they do, and they have it here. Oh, these are hip handle protectors. Yeah. Puppy dog. So we have a lot of. There's a meat so, tenderizer. So these, so these are like little baby skillets. Until little you, babies. Until you, they grow up to be bad guys. That's for grilling. Yeah, this is a grill all made out of cast iron. That's pretty sweet. Cast iron cook it all is 25% yeah. off. So here's our classic Dutch ovens. The ones that you put the charcoal on the top. Those are amazing. They have tons of... Wow. Were you talking about one of those? It's like a 13 inch. That's a 12 inch. He's got 13. See, this has holes in it. Oh, for the grill. No, this one has holes. You can't use that. For the grill. Well, you can, but I want to grill meat, and I don't want flare-ups. Butter and baste it. Basting? Yeah. Or a sauce. Those are, Lodge has all kinds of stuff. They have chimney starters. What is that, boo-boo? It looks like a shovel, like you're going to do coals or something. Yeah. But then it's got teeth, like you're going to like cut a bush. <laughs> so what is that thing? Oh, Look at this bad boy. Dang. These are nice. serious. To round it out, they have lots of rubs. Tons of different kinds of rubs. Tin cans, Dr. K's. They have lots of jams. Uh, some lotions and stuff. Wow, look at that. I think I can see myself serving some fajitas on this. Mm. Mm. They have a cute little kitchen set up here. That's adorable with the old fashioned oven. And fried green tomatoes. So they have a whole set. This is great for a starter set. $84. You get 
five pieces. You get a Dutch oven, a skillet, a skillet, and a griddle. Wow, that's cool. That's pretty good set. And in true outlet form, we have the bargain bin, right? Scratch and dents. We have a big, huge bin of lids. What do these go to? Probably a minor defect. Ten and a quarter. They're lost our game. Looks like this is some of the bakeware. Yeah. Looks like they have a sale on their black lock items. Yay. Kind of pretty. Got a bunch of those guys over here. What have we got over here? Pretty grill looking things. That's a nice griddle. Yay. I guess these are on sale too. That's a lot. But look at here. Got some little babies. I guess we got some stuff. We've got some interesting things on this back wall here. Pretty. Right back up there. Kind of an iconic picture right there. Crazy. I saw the 13 and a quarter inch. Oh, well, here's this one. This is a 14 inch. Yeah. You can probably take one of these bad boys, throw them in the bottom of your Weber, right on the coals, get it up to a thousand degrees, and then you can sear almost anything you want. Yeehaw. That's pretty big. But they also have a 13 inch, and that might fit a little better. So let's go take a look at that. These ones are pretty, but they may not fit in a Weber, just because of that long handle. This is fifty dollars, but I think it we can get it on sale maybe. This is a, a thirteen and a quarter inch, which is pretty nice. Not sure what they all got to say in there. I like to throw this in the Weber on the on the coals. Then that way you can grill up meat like flat meat and stuff for your fajitas. Literally forty five seconds per side done. Whereas if you got something that's not exactly on the coals, then it might take a minute and a half per side but it comes out wonderful, especially when you marinate them and they're just beautiful. So I'm going to pick up one of these. Yeah. 